Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Hugh here from Creator Up. Today, we are gonna talk about AVP, Auto Panel Video Pro. In particular, we are not talking about how to use AVP to stitching traditional footage shot by GoPro Rig, like GoPro Omnia. But instead, we're gonna use AVP on stitching one body camera, like the one I have here, Instant 360 Pro, this bad boy. So the first question you might ask, uh, why even bother to use AVP to stitching footage from this camera? Because as you know, if you own Instant 360 Pro or Zcam S1, S1 Pro, or Carta Obsidian, they all come with their version of free stitching software using optical flow stitching. So why even bother you using AVP? You can spend so much money and learn how to do it. Well, the problem is, why I'm like taking a lot of client job, client always have a request on what is most important in the whole 360 footage. And they, and they want that subject to be have perfect stitch. The problem of auto stitcher like the one coming with the, this camera, is there's no way to pick in which lens, which area you really want to focus the subject on and have perfect stitch. No matter how good is the stitching software, uh, they are not perfect. Even using optical flow stitching, if you see the footage, when your subject move across the stitching line or maybe like too close to the camera line, right now I'm really close to the camera in the stitch line, if you move around, you will, st you will still see ghosting. So let's take an example, look at the footage here I have for you. So right now I'm opening Auto Panel Video Pro right here. Uh, in the version 3, you can actually connect that with the GoPro VR player so you can actually have a live preview of the footage. So and I also on here, I open another window uh, and that is stitching by Instant 360 Pro Stitcher. Um, so that is what's stitching by this software. Uh, this in camera stitching, or uh, I actually I'm not using in camera stitching. I'm actually using the Instant 360 Pro stitcher, like this software right here, to stitch this footage. So it, it should be perfect stitch. But let's see. Let's for example, we want to protect the videographer, like as you see right here, is him. He's fairly close to that's me right here. He's fairly close to the camera, and and as you see, if you play the footage. You can see like ghosting, see, look at the hand. You can see ghosting around around the camera gimbal and his head. Uh, and then the director say, hey, this is a behind the scene footage. I really want to see this famous videographer and him in action. I don't want to see imperfection, especially if you put this into a VR goggle, like this one right here, which is ocular rift. You really see the like, ghosting around the subject matter. Um, and that is a problem. So, so there's no way to fix this, but pay attention on the, on the left here. That is actually after I stitching with ADP. He's, he's perfect. Like, let's go back to the same frame right here, which is, yeah, I believe it's this frame. Look at here. You can see here is all buried out. It all goes out and here is perfect. Like he's, center is straight like he's in focus so we actually protect the subject right here without even using optical flow stitching uh, and then let's go to a different other example so almost at the end of the video if you pan around uh, let's say that this actor this dancer so this is a dance video right i can play you a couple clips so they're shuffling let's say this guy is very important we want to protect it but as you see he's going in and out of the stitch line right here um, in the full stitcher so if you go back in one frame let me see if i can find that frame for you okay right here so if you pay attention right here you can see his hand got cut off and it's like ghosting around his hand his hand is moving across the stitch line so optical flow uh doesn't know how to like analyze this this area and he still in create a ghost hand on him so let's say that your director is really particular say hey this is a very important actor I don't want him to ghost around while dance around the camera. Uh, just by the way, I want to tell you this situation is also really particular. The camera is on a car, so I am sitting on the back of my car, my on my smart car, convertible, and everybody is around me, dance around me. So there is 
the six is six camera rig, right? So there's a lot of stitch points. So people keep come crossing all different kinds of stitch point, um, and the camera is moving. So uh, situation is changing. So it's not like a traditional situation. Like what if you use this camera? This camera sit on a tripod. It's not moving. The actors moving. So they have more control. This this in this scenario, everything's moving. The camera's moving. The actors moving. Everybody's moving. Even the lighting is changing. So you want to have a perfect control of this and you have to use this. Uh, you have to use a software that allow you to have that control. So let's go back to the topic. So here you see, here have a ghosting. Uh, let's go to the, the frame actually like uh, same frame on the situation. So here is the interface of uh, ABP Pro. So it's right here. So uh, let's zoom in a little bit on the player. Let's go back in here and look at the comparison right here. So ghosting without ghosting, perfect. By the way, uh, I'm still in pretty low resolution, so that is not so clear because the rendering speed, I'm like screen recording same at the same time, like playing in two different player. So, but as you see, he's fully protected. He's not crossing the steam line. Uh, and actually how we do that, if you pay if you take a look at actually how to do that, in AP Post 3, this is a new feature. We can actually click this button and show off the stitch shine of the camera. So, and here, something called mask. That's what we're gonna use in ABP Pro. Um, to have an animation of the mask, so if you play the, here, pay attention to the stitch line, it actually go ahead and protect him, and moving, so the stitch line is actually in the animation. It's moving up and down to protect the actor frame by frame according to his motion. So, that's how I achieve perfect stitch with ABP Pro. So, I hope that gives you a pretty good reason why you need to actually learn this professional software to improve your stitching. Um, and now, let me give you a full rundown tutorial of actually how to use ABP to stitch uh, footage come out from Instant2C Pro.